This episode is brought to you by my Fansly. Check it out. Links in the description below. I'm in Salad and I saw Return of the Living Dead 3. It is directed by Brian Uzna and it stars Melinda Clark and Kent McCord. This movie was requested uh, by someone on Patreon, so thank you for forcing me to watch this movie. Anyway, this is a sequel to The Return of the Living Dead and Return of the Living Dead 2. I still don't understand why the the is dropped completely or if there is a the in the first place. Maybe it's to distinguish from the Return of the Living Dead movie. Uh, it doesn't make sense to me. But anyway, this movie starts you get to see these hooligan, these hooligan teenagers. They're in love. And by love, I mean they're having a lot of teenage uh, frick fracking. That's, that's what I'm gonna call it. <laughs> frick fracking. They do a lot of frick fracking. And their dad is like, hey, uh, I work at a military base, all right? Don't come to this military base. Also, uh, we are going to be leaving soon. We're going to be leaving in a month. Well, more like a week. So pack up your things and uh, you are you have no choice but to come with me. Because I'm forcing you because you are my son. And I love you and want you to p- be part of this journey. But of course, the, da- uh, the, the son's like, no, dad, I don't like that at all. Why, uh, I have friends here. And honestly, if you got friends that won't travel with you, they ain't your friends, homie. Like, that's that's really the simplest thing. <laughs> so, he's of course storming out like, Ugh, I'm a teenager. I don't like my dad. And he goes to, uh, he steals his bike. Rather, he, uses, he borrows some bike. He b- found a bike somewhere, a motorcycle specifically. And he's riding around. Riding around with his girlfriend with no helmets, which is bad bike practice, etiquette, safety, everything. You're supposed to wear a helmet or else you're going to die in case you crash. And of course, because of this, he uh, he makes a really sharp drift. And because of the drifting, uh, the lady friend, her, her neck gets hit with a pole. It's, it's sad, it's tragic, but also I'm like, ha ha, sucks for you. Uh, you did bad, you should have worn a helmet, you should have disobeyed your dad. You are going to be alone, you are going to run off uh, without your father and with this lovely woman. Ha ha, now you have to run off alone. Uh, do- sucks still, doesn't it? So of course, the boy, he's like sad. Oh, so sad. Oh, my lovely woman is gone. No, I cannot accept her that for one minute. I have to carry her into a military building base. And I don't know how he gets uncaught. He doesn't like, no one sees him at all because he puts a a lady up against the corner. And up against the corner, you got her legs are visible from the hallway. There's people walking down the hallway, but they don't see her legs. And I'm like, how did you not see her legs? I don't get it. But uh, then you get to see the guy. The guy's like, oh my goodness. I'm going to go into this room and I'm going to open this container. And I'm like, okay, first of all, I got an issue. Uh, This canically takes five years takes place five years after either the first or second movie so they still got these barrels and I'm like you should get rid of them barrels you should really like nuke them like I know you're like testing on them and whatnot like you're chaining up zombies the the people who just eating the brains at least they're not like terribly smart they still rip down the door but you're still tearing them up tying them up rather and you're basically doing target practice on them so I guess that's why you still have the barrels around but the guy finds a barrel and I'm like thinking don't do that why would you ever open a barrel 
Like, leave barrels alone. Barrels in the wild are not supposed to be opened, okay? So, of course, he opens his barrel. Some gas comes out. She's revived. He's like, oh my goodness, I love it. I get the cheat death. Haha, <laughs> I got him. Um, but during this entire time, it's a sad, it's very sad because she's like, uh, I'm hungry. Uh, I am sad, cold. I don't want to be here. Why am I like this? What's happened? Uh, she also found out that she was dead recently. And then, like, a bunch of people are just chasing them. Uh, chasing them in the military base. And it's just a lot of, it's a lot of, uh, they're trying to escape. But they do eventually escape. And they do eventually, uh, get out and go to this gas station where she's eating all this, ca uh, not even candy. It's like the donuts and whatnot. Like, these are, like, the gross kind of donuts. And she's just eating them up. Yum yum. I'm just so hungry. Ugh. She's getting the attention of a lot of people. A lot of people are like, hey, what's wrong with you, lady? What's going on? Come on. Uh, but uh, then you also get to see from that same gas station, that gas station gets robbed where the robbers shoot a guy and leave him for dead. And of course, uh, the very noble guy that the the boy, the son is, he's like, oh, I gotta save this guy. So what does he do? Uh, he take, goes, takes a pickup truck or tr car, whatever, and he's just uh, going, he's going, being chased by the cops. Oh, it's a van. He gets chased by a van. The cops are chasing him, of course, because at no point does the son ever mention that he's got somebody who needs medical attention in the back of the van. So they're going through this entire police chase and it's like, come on, man, just pull over. Or at least like signal to me to them, like call the cops, be like, hey cops, man, uh, I have a sick person. Please let me go and absolve me of all speeding and all charges. And they'll, they have to be like, yeah, okay, I totally get it. Yeah, your wife's going to delivery. Yeah, your son's shot. Yeah, this old man that you recently just met is about to die. You could speed. Ugh. And that's the end of the phone call. And <laughs> that doesn't happen though. What instead happens is you got the back of the van. The back of the van is open. Bam, open van and the police shoot at the guy who has a ne desperate need of a medical attention. I'm like, oh, great. Awesome. The police did nothing to help. Uh, so, yeah, they go, they get chased. But they do eventually come across this river. The zombie lady, the undead lady, the... the uh, I guess I'd call her undead. Yeah, the undead lady, she... It's like, oh, I can't deal with this anymore. Oh, I can't feel anything. And like in the van, she's like taking a key and just like repeatedly insert, inserting the key into her skin and so it's bloody. And I'm like, Ugh, I can't even look at that. It looks so gross. Please, please don't ever, don't, no. No, bad, bad. That's bad. I don't like that at all. Uh, it happens a lot. Uh, there's like a few... There's like a few shots of the uh, the camera just showing her inserting stuff into her skin. And each time I've had to like look away because it's a little, it's a little grotesque for me. I don't like it. I really don't like things being inserted. I don't like watching things being inserted into people, like needles and such. Uh, but she's also like, oh, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Oh, I just want some brains. But she also eats the brain of the guy who dies. And I'm like, okay, this woman, she's a zombie. Uh, she deserves nothing. Just, just kick her out. Boom, she's going to eat you eventually. But she doesn't, surprisingly. Instead, we take her to uh, this. Um, well, she first she eats herself off the side of the building, off of the bridge, into the LA River. You can tell it's the LA River by the way that it is, and. You get to see this uh, river man. River man's here. He takes everyone. 
by everyone, I mean the three of them, to uh, in the river, in this uh, drain system. But he has a really cool place for being in the sewers slash river slash wherever. It looks pretty neat. He also got a bunch of hooligans trying to chase him, like the bank robbers. And it's it's pretty fun. You get to see more and more of her kind of be like, oh, I can't stand it. I can't stand it at all. No, no. Oh, please. Just let me, just let me die slash let me eat some brains. And then she starts like attacking people. Just big ol' attack. Yeah, I'm gonna munch on you. I'm nom nom nom. Just like a good old sandwich. Uh, but, it's also a fun thing. She's also like, hey, you should like and subscribe this video. She said that right in the movie, you guys. So you gotta do it. Uh, but, <laughs> she's a, uh, with her comes like a bunch of zombies. And it's about uh, 20 minutes until the end of the movie is when all the zombies come. They start, uh, 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 and they start ripping down doors. They start ripping down these wood planks. They start ripping everything down. And it's quite fun because once everyone's ripping everything down, that's when everything breaks loose. And I honestly think it's like, okay, why did you take so long to do this zombie thing? Why did you take so long? Why did it take 20 minutes? It's a zombie disaster now, just like the other ones. And, uh, I liked this film in the terms that it was, it was different than two and one. Uh, it wasn't like as different from the other ones though, but it was definitely better than two in my opinion. It wasn't uh, as repetitive and it focused on more uh, just the just the party and one of the party members turning into a zombie and having to deal with that so that's I liked that perspective it was definitely a new perspective I definitely still enjoy the original the most uh, there wasn't as many talking zombies in this movie as there were in others so that's a little bit disappointing but other than that I gotta give this film a solid six out of 10. If you like that review, I have more content on our patreon.com slash Presents for $3 a month for some daily vlogs and some extended mint salad sauce. Also, $20 a month, you get a one movie request per one month. So go check out patreon.com slash Presents. Also, if you like to see me pose in these clothes or not in these clothes, check out my Fansly at fansly.com slash salad. I post daily movie review based photo sets there every day after their movie reviews. So go check out my Fansly at fansly.com slash salad. Until next time, I'm in Salad Saw. I'll see you later my Salad Croutons and Bacon Bits.